Hello everyone, I'm Jamal and welcome to my third tutorial for Pascal and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to read a user's input. So first we're going to open Pascal and then we're going to open a new source file and then we write program and for me I'm going to call it user input. Next we're going to set the variables we're going to use for this program, so we're going to write var, and if you don't know how to use variables, there should be a link in the description to my last tutorial. So the variables I'm using for this are going to be num1 and num2, and these are going to be integers. Underneath we're going to write begin, so we're starting the main program now, I'm going to do write line. open bracket, apostrophe, and this is what's going to display on the screen, so we're going to write please input your first number uh, end the apostrophe, close the bracket, semicolon, we're going to read line, instead of a normal read line, we're going to do inside this read line, we're going to write brackets and so we can read line, like read whatever they say, we're going to see this variable, we're going to copy this into here, so we're going to write num1 semicolon, so whatever they put in here whatever they write after this sentence is going to become this variable and that's going to write line alright please input your second number Then under this, so we can set the variable, we're going to write read line, I'm going to call this num2. This are the variables we've got here. So we're going to close this, semicolon, and now we need a way to display the variable, or we'll display the answer to this calculation. So we're going to write right line, and here we're going to write Your numbers equal, or your numbers are equal to, and you press space, apostrophe, and do a comma, and you write num1 and num2, and close the brackets, semicolon. And what you're saying in this sentence is that you just want to, you wanted to display these words. But then you want to display the calculation or the sum of the total of these. And then underneath this, to keep the window open, we're on a read line and then a normal semicolon. And then underneath, we just want to write end full stop. And that's all that's to it. So now we're going to run this or we'll compile this and save in our folder. I'm going to call it user input. I'm going to save it. Should carry on compiling now. And the 10 plus 18. There you go. Your number is equal to 28. 